guys, I hope you're okay. So I'm sorry I haven't filmed for quite a while now. I wanted to do regular pregnancy updates, but to be honest with you, there was nothing really to report. I just wanted to say before I do start this video, thank you so, so much for all of your kind words and kind comments on my last video. It was quite a hard video to upload, but honestly, you made me feel so much better and it just goes to show that that is completely normal and a lot, a lot, a lot of people go through it. I'm now going into my 18th week of pregnancy and to be honest with you, since my horrible time before, I've had it really easy now. Um, I haven't really been experiencing many symptoms at all, maybe the odd headache and sensitive gums, but other than that, fingers crossed, um, I've been really, really, really lucky and I could get very, very comfortable with feeling like this, not feeling tired all the time, my mega hunger has gone out of the window a little bit which is great and I'm just starting to really enjoy it. Because we are only 18 weeks, we don't know the gender of the little baby yet, so we have booked a cheeky little gender scan for a couple of weeks time before the NHS one so that I can go shopping in between at the baby show. If any of you are going along to the baby show please let me know, I'd love to maybe see some of you and yeah let me know if you have been before as well, I'd love to know what you bought and what you thought really. So one thing about pregnancy is that shopping is extremely exciting and even though I don't know whether we're having a little boy or a little girl yet, we have been shopping quite a fair bit and I'm really into white neutral quite basic simple clothes and I know that's not to everyone's taste but my style I do really like white clothes and just really plain simple and at the moment unisex clothes are brilliant for me so I'm going to take you through a few things that we have been filling up the baby's wardrobe with if you follow me on Instagram then you may have seen me upload a picture a little while ago but I thought I would just take you through and show you some bits they're not very exciting so I'm really sorry if you find this completely boring. So first of all, on my last video I mentioned that I was using the Clarins Stretch Mark Control range and I have been using that and I'm absolutely loving it. However, um, Champneys recently sent me the Blissful Bump range and I really really like it and this comes with the Stretch Mark Oil the shower cream which I haven't actually used yet I'm gonna wait for my bump to get a little bit bigger and the body butter which smells and feels incredible I was given a sample of the Seven C's pregnancy vitamins and minerals and I decided that I actually preferred them over the pregnant care they're a lot easier to swallow and I think they actually have more vitamins in them they are these so while we were in New York we went to a little outlet shopping centre and I picked up these baby grows, they're just really simple white short sleeve baby grows and they are from Carter's, I'm not really sure what Carter's is, I think it's an American thing but they were $26 reduced down to like $10 so I thought I'd pick them up, they're really small and to be honest with you I really think I'm going to have a massive baby. I also picked up this newborn burp cloth and bib set from Boots. This was like £5 I think and you get two ribbed um, bibs and three burp cloths. So that's a handy thing to have. My friends and my family have already been so so generous for this baby and I can tell that we're going to have a very spoiled little one on our hands. My friend Nikki gave me a little box full of white company goodies which is so exciting because that's honestly my favourite baby shop and we got this little sleep suit which is very very cute. That by the way is called the Starry Safari Fitted Sleep Suit. She also got us this little one, let me get it, which is pretty similar but it has buttons down the front and no feet. That is the Noah's Ark sleep suit. It has little giraffes and elephants and I'm really into farm animals and stuff so that's nice. Another thing we picked up in America was another thing from Carter's actually and it is this very very cute, possibly my favourite bit, little um, bodysuit with 
scratch mitts on it, which a lot of baby stuff comes with, which I think is really handy. And that's in newborn size. Very, very cute. I'm really into stars. And it comes with a little hat and the cutest little socks. Um, you might think some of this stuff really looks boyish, but to be honest with you, all unisex baby stuff does, which is a bit of a pain, but if we have a little boy then I guess brilliant and if we have a little girl I think they'll look just as cute in them anyway. But that is my favourite little thing. It does say four piece set and that is because it did have a bib but it had something written on it and I really didn't like it. I'm a bit fussy. Oops. So my mum picked up this little set for us from Marks and Spencers and it is so cute. It's a 10 piece set that comes with three sleep suits, two long sleeve body suits, two dribble bibs, one pair of mittens, a hat and a pair of booties. And they're just patterned in stars, stripes and just plain. I picked this up in the sale in Mother Care. It was only a few pounds and it's just a cute little body suit, not to three months and it just has a really cute little face on it. And we also picked up this really, really cute bib, which is like waistcoat style. And it has the cutest little fawn or something on the front. I don't know, a little Bambi. And yeah, it's really, really sweet and it's just velcroed. So that's handy just to make sure that stays on baby. But oh, yeah, it's really cute. Nikki also picked us up this little striped suit which again has no feet and is so so cute another one of my favourites I think that's from the Little White Company I just love their stuff I don't know if it is because it's all so plain and simple and white but I'm obsessed and I'm spending quite a lot of money in there at the moment along with that was this little giraffe bodysuit and that is in newborn and it's so so sweet the giraffes on it are so cute we have a little bit of a giraffe theme going on I think that brings me on nicely to this next item which is the Sophie Le Giraffe we picked this up in New York in um, FAO Schwartz I'm probably absolutely murdering the pronunciation of that shop but it's a cute little giraffe toy that practically every baby has. It's so, so sweet and yeah, I can't wait for baby to play with that. I'm very much a girly girl, but I'm surrounded by men that are obsessed with football. And my brother decided to get a Crystal Palace football kit for my little baby. And though I was a bit like, what? It is quite cute and I'm not saying that the baby will ever wear it. The men in my family would not let the baby be born without it having a Crystal Palace football kit. And although my boyfriend is a Liverpool supporter, so it didn't go down too well, it's a nice little thing to have, I guess. The poor little boy or girl. I personally don't really like Asda because the one near me is an absolute shocking place. But I picked up this blanket and it's actually really cute, so so soft and I think it was only £8 and I just thought for a baby essential that's going to get completely dirty and mucky that that would, that, you know, that was a good price we also have these little socks from the White Company which are so cute I can't believe people's feet are that small they're so cute they're the soft and cosy terry toweling baby socks I also have some feminine wipes from Boots, say no more. It's a bit hard to decide what bottles your baby's going to need before they're born because you don't know what's going to suit them but my family and I, we've always used Philips Advent, Advent, whatever it's called and so I picked up a microwave steriliser because I heard they're a lot easier and quicker to use than the other things. And that was on special offer. I think it's doing the rounds in all the shops, but I think it was about 
£15 maybe. Along with that I also picked up a newborn starter set which comes with, what does it have in it? Um, four bottles, a bottle brush and a little dummy. And that's also doing the rounds on special offer, I think that's £14 maybe. We have this, my first set which is from Mother Care and that's in newborn. It was £12 and that comes with um, two sleep suits, one bodysuit, one vest, one hat, one bib and two pairs of scratch mitts. All perfectly simple and white which is good for me. I then took a, another little trip to the Little White Company and picked up this lovely little blanket. Sorry about the rustling. I picked up this lovely blanket which is a pram blanket with a um, satin trim and it's so so lovely and I think that was £15 and it's so soft. I've been stocking up on Pampers, new baby nappies and I have got sizes 1 and 2 so far and I've bought hundreds because I'm going to go through them extremely quickly and to keep it a little less inexpensive I'm going to try and buy them all throughout the pregnancy and probably have a mountain of them by the time the baby's born but at least I'm prepared. I've never been much of a fan of teddy bears and soft toys myself but since finding out I was pregnant I've absolutely been obsessed and we've been building up quite the little collection already so we have this little Loved so much bear from Mother Care, yes, and he's very soft and squidgy and cute. That was from my brother actually. We have this cute bunny rabbit, which is one of my favourites, and that's a jelly cat toy. It's so soft, and I do think that jelly cat toys are going to be my favourite. I know that I already want the whole collection, which is probably a little ridiculous, but they're so cute. My friend picked me this one up from the Little White Company, but I know they sell them in John Lewis and nice baby shops. Um, it's so soft. I just, I love it. I, I love it. My hair seems to be getting frizzier and frizzier through this video. I don't know why. It's growing crazily thick and frizzy at the moment, which I'm putting down to pregnancy. But um, another little soft toy that we have been gifted for our little jelly cat family is this cute little one. And this was gifted to us from Hannah, who I mentioned on my last video, whose little boy is the cutest thing ever. And I couldn't stop cuddling him and yeah, he's lovely. So thank you for this, Hannah. Although there is a hell of a lot more stuff upstairs in that little baby wardrobe, I couldn't carry it all downstairs. and. My last thing that I have to show you is this cute little rabbit from FAO Schwartz again which is from Bunnies by the Bay and it is this cute little rabbit. We got that in New York as well and it is so cute, look. It lays down and it is so sweet. I'm obsessed with it, it's so soft again. Like I mentioned before, I do want to try and keep everything as inexpensive by buying it early. So we do need to start figuring out and making decisions on bigger purchases. If you do have any recommendations for anything or maybe list of essential things that I need to buy, please, please, please list them in the comments below and I will be very, very grateful for that. Thank you so, so much for watching this Rambly Haul video. I'm sorry I didn't have too much to report back, but thankfully I'm not suffering too many symptoms at the moment. If you have liked this video, please, please, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe and comment below. Also, if you don't follow me already on Twitter and Instagram, I'd absolutely love for you to come on over because I'm constantly updating on baby and beauty related things and... Yeah, I would very much appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're all well, and I'll see you soon, hopefully, with the gender of my little baby. Bye.